been declared on the South Oak coast of England on the hottest day of the year. As temperatures soared above 30 degrees Celsius, thousands of people descended on the beaches in Dorset. Bournemouth Council said it was appalled by the scenes and the irresponsible behaviour of crowds who had ignored public health guidance on coronavirus. They said the local police force was being stretched to the absolute hilt and pleaded with people to stay away as roads were gridlocked and beaches became full. Well, Duncan Kennedy is in Bournemouth for us now. Duncan. Well, Sophie, as you can see, it is still absolutely heaving here tonight. We've had extraordinary scenes of overcrowding throughout the day. At one point today, the council said that there were something like half a million people that had descended on this beach. And despite repeated warnings by the council for people to go home, many simply ignored that message. And that's why this afternoon they declared this a major incident. These were the unprecedented scenes on Bournemouth Beach today. The council says around half a million people turned up to use the beach. The opportunity for social distancing was almost entirely gone, even though many did try to find a space. This afternoon, the council said it could no longer cope and declared a major incident. Right now the restaurants are closed, the bars are closed, the attractions are closed. You can't play crazy golf, you can't go in the arcade, you can't do the, any of the fabulous things we've got available. So after 4th of July, those people can be spread around those various activities. Also hotels will be open, so hotel car parks are open, so there's other places for people to park. Right now it's just not enough facilities here, and so it's kettling everybody to the beach, and that's causing a lot of problems. With many facilities closed, the beach was the only space to go. Declaring it a major incident enabled official agencies to come together and pool their resources amid scenes of chaos and overcrowding. If people get too close, they'll probably say, can you move over a little bit? <laughs> it's not good though, is it? It's probably going to cause a second wave, isn't it? Everyone's just doing what they want, isn't it? The beaches here have witnessed these huge gatherings at other times during the COVID crisis. The weather and the golden sands attract people from as far afield as the Midlands. The local MP says you can't shut the beaches when it gets overcrowded, but government help is now needed. It's very important that the government understands that it's got to be flexible as well. It's got to be dynamic in recognising, just as if there's a big demonstration in the centre of London and police come in to help, that if Dorset requests extra help uh, from a policing perspective, that we are quick there to support them. The council here has sent out a message urging people to go home. But the experience of this and other days is that when the weather is this good, few want to give it up, despite the dangers. Well, it's still extremely hot here, around about the 30 degree mark, and as you can see, still extremely busy. In the very short time that we've been here over the last couple of hours, I have to say the humour has been pretty good, pretty level, not too many scenes of drunkenness or anything like that, which you can get when the numbers get high here in Bournemouth. The council tell us that the local hospitals, Bournemouth and Poole Hospital, have been put on standby as a precautionary measure at what is, Sophie, the end of an extremely testing day for all the agencies involved. Duncan Kennedy, thank you.